Good morning, everybody. How are we doing on this beautiful Sunday? I believe it is. I wanted to take the time and explain axle weights and how to adjust and why we adjust. Uh, this uh, request actually came from one of the subscribers. Um, so starting off already, axle weights, the standard axle weight should be 12,000 pounds on the steer. No more than 12,000 pounds on the steer, no more than 34,000 pounds on the drive, and no more than 34,000 pounds on the trailer. That is your standard axle weight for you to be at 80,000 pounds and under gross and legal with DOT. Now, here's the thing about axle weights. Now, as you probably get into trucking, and you know, they, they don't really explain this, but when you go to a trucking company, they do. Or some people might go in the truck in and decide to, you know, just branch out on their own once they got their license. Whatever you decide to do, you have to know axle weights. Do you have to know your axle weights? Because if you have a, let's say for instance, you have a 43,000 pound load, okay? And you get to the customer and they tell you, hey, slide your tandems all the way to the rear before we load you, okay? All right, you know, to slide your tandems to the rear, for those who are who don't know to slide your tandem to the rear what you would do is set the trailer brake and the parking brake okay you would set both of those brake you would come back here to your trailer on the driver's side you will see either a pull pin or you will have a pull handle that you will lock in place that will release those pins there are four pins on each side okay there's two on each side four pins total before you move anywhere, once you've done your axle weight adjustment, always make sure those pins are fully extended and locked out in place, okay? Now, the rule of thumb is that basic DOT measurements tell you that you have to be between the fourth hole and the 14th hole. That right there counts as the first pin. So your first pin must be at the fourth hole and no further past the 14th hole. OK, now the uh, here's an exception. You know, you if you pull it all the way forward like this here, the beginning of this stops here. So if you count it back as one, two, three, that's three holes. It, you know, you can slide it all the way past the fourth hole, which is perfectly legal. You know, you can do that. You know, once you've unlocked your pins, you get back in your tractor, you release the tractor brake, leaving the trailer banks engaged. And you will tug on the trailer. When you tug on a trailer where you move it forward and move it back, you will feel the trailer or truck goes to move. If you look in your mirror, you'll see the tires are stationary. You're adjusting your trailer at that point. Now, rule of thumb, rule of thumb, no matter what load you get, for me, my rule of thumb is anything over 30,000 pounds, right? Anything that's over 30,000 pounds, I'm going to want to try to get my pin in the eighth hole so it'd be if you count it from here it goes one two three four five six seven eight now i've came down here from delaware with a forty three thousand two hundred fifty pound water load okay and my rule of thumb like i said anything over thirty thousand pounds i'm gonna put it in the eighth hole and then I'm going to find the nearest way station to wear it if the facility doesn't have a way station. Now, once I when I did that, you know, it also depends on your truck and everything, too. I'll get into that in a minute. Once I did that, I get to the scale. I was eleven thousand eight hundred pounds on my steer. I was thirty one thousand thirty pounds on my drives and I was thirty three thousand plus pounds on my trailer but it was perfectly fine because i was perfectly legal i was on eighty thousand pounds everything was under gross it was under 34 on the trailer under 34 on the drive under 12 on the steer okay now say for instance you get a load and you know you you say all right well you know rule of thumb put it in the eighth hole and your back might say thirty-two thousand pounds right but your drives might say, oh, we're 34,500, 34,500 pounds on the drives. 
guess what? You got to be on the 34,000. So how do you adjust that? I just recently told you how to, you know, slide the trailer. So what you're going to what you would do is you want to remove the weight off the truck itself. OK, so removing the weight off the truck, what you would do is you will actually when you go to slide the axle, you will slide them. You will back up. Because by backing up, you're putting more weight on the tandems for the trailer and taking less weight off the drives. Now, here's how this works. When you go to slide, you don't want to just beast it back and everything like that to try to, you know, get weight off. Because, you know, you could be, you know, 20, 29,000 pounds here and 34 over there if you wanted to. Now, what you have to look at is each one of these holes believe it or not, represents 150 to a 250-pound difference when sliding, okay? Each one of those holes represent a difference. So say, for instance, we're in the eighth hole, and we got, let's say, 32,500 pounds on the, on the axe, on the, on, the, you know, on the trailer back here, and we got, uh, give or take, let's say we got... Let's throw a number out there. Let's say we got 34,600 on the, on the drive tires, right? Because that's basically where all your weight adjustment is going to come at. You got that on the drive tires. So what you will want to do is say, okay, well, I got 600 pounds on my drive. Rule of thumb, if I can get 150 to 200 per hole and I'm about 32,000 on the trailer, you know, if I was to move that, let's say, Let's throw a number, say, for instance, let's count it back. 600, right? 600 divided by 4 is 150. So if you take 150 per hole, you'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. You'll be in the fourth hole. Why would you be in the fourth hole? Due to the simple fact that if you slide the trailer back, you're putting more weight on the trailer tires and taking weight off the truck. So when you lock it in place and then you go to reway, your weights should be balanced. You should at least be at 39, I mean not 39, I apologize, at 33,900 on your drives and possibility of, you know, just added the 600 pounds on the trailer. So with axle weights, sometimes, you know, you might get a load. And this happened to me plenty of times where the load is extremely heavy in the rear and extremely light up front. You know, if I've had loads where I go the way out and they're 37,000 pounds on the trailer. You know what I'm saying? It's 37,000 pounds on the trailer. I might have it in the fourth hole. So how can I fix that? If I got 29,000 on the, on the drives and 37 on the trailer, how do I fix it? First thing I'm going to do it say, okay, I got 37,000 pounds. Automatically, I'm going to take it and I'm going to slide it all the way back to the 14th hole. What By the slide it back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trailer forward and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to count all the way to the 14th hole. Remember, the first pin gets locked into the 14th hole. So I'm going to count all the way back. I'm going to count all the way back to the 14th hole. I'm going to lock it in place and I'm going to weigh it. Nine times out of 10, it may shift the adjustment weight to the front and put you under 34,000 pounds on your trailer. Okay. It'll put it'll, it. Sometimes it'll do that. Now, if you find yourself in a case where it doesn't do that, all you have to do is just go back to the shipper, bring your scale tickets, tell them, Hey, I got this thing all the way back as far as legal as I can go. It's overweight by this many pounds on the rear and they'll readjust. Never be afraid to go back to the shipper to readjust your axle weights. Now, depending on the type of truck you have, you might have a Kenworth or sometimes you might have a Peterbilt. Now, axle weights up front, they vary because a lot of trucks can hold over 12,000 pounds on the front. You have to always look at your manufacturer's axle weights as what you can haul. DLT knows what trucks can be heavy on the front and what trucks are light on the back. They, they, they know everything like that. They know they, they, they have that criteria. They have the information on that. I used to drive Kenworths. I had a Kenworth that I drove that the steer axle was able to carry 13,500 pounds on the front. 
guess what? I go through a DOT scale, perfectly legal. But normally, if you go, you drive for a company, a lot of the standard trucks these days have 12,000 pound steer, steer axles, 34,000 pound drives, 34,000 pounds trailers. And that's basically the rule of thumb. Just always adjust and check your axle weight. Always, always, always. Normally, from what I've learned, the eighth hole is the base hole. Because once you're in that hole, you'll know whether you need to slide the trailer back a few holes to adjust your weight. Or if you might have to slide it forward a few holes to adjust your weight. The truck's dirty. We got to get it washed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And hey, you can ride with me too.